EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Madden NFL 2004. As the crowd continues to file in, we get set to bring you another exciting game. Thanks for joining us. Each of these teams looking to add a win to their record, and we're just about ready to get this one started as the Bills square off against the Jets. Al Michaels and John Madden here to broadcast this one, brought to you by EA Sports, the company that defines football. One thing that can turn an average defense into a great one is the guys up front. When you have someone like this who consistently puts pressure on the quarterback, it allows the rest of the defense to drop back in coverage and not have to blitz or pressure as much. And when you can do that, offenses have a tough time getting things done. The Jets' ground game should be a big factor in the outcome of this one. Now, we've talked about the defense that they'll face, and in order to keep them guessing, this offense will look to mix it up with screens and counters. This will force the defense to tone down their aggressiveness and not overplay anything. It should make for a very interesting matchup. Wow, those guys got to be careful not to get all tired out doing that. You got to save some of that intensity and energy for the game. The teams have taken the field. We're ready for the kickoff. Let's go to the field. Number nine will be kicking off. And this one's a short kickoff. From the 17-yard line, puts it on the ground. The Jets are there to pick up the ball. That ball just squirted right out of his hands. He never had a good handle on that thing. A lot of guys will wear gloves to help him hold on to the ball. But even if you do, you still got to wrap it up and protect it. You're going to see a lot of balls popping out like that. into the open field the 30 they're trying to get the fullback involved in the passing game and he's one of those guys who's a pretty good safety valve he's got soft hands and more importantly he knows what to do with it when he gets it first and ten give it all you got 94. Penning gets set passing on first down throwing Watch this one again. He's trying to make the catch, and the defender comes in there and just unloads on it. But he's still able to hold on to it for a heck of a play. John, as we look at the matchup, two teams that are evenly matched in a game that very likely goes down to the very end. It sure looks that way, but that's exactly what's going to make this one so much fun to watch. They're both coming in here looking for a big win. They give it to the halfback. Mark didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. Moss moves in motion. Martin couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. The Jets line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Gets rid of it. Down he goes. That's the 29. Pennington doing an excellent job on this drive. Things are really slowing down for him right now. He's seeing the coverage and finding the open man with ease. He's really in some kind of rhythm out there. They line up 
the I formation. Under pressure, tossing it over the middle. And he hits his target. That pass was right in the receiver's hands. Yeah, this quarterback has stressed accuracy all year. Repetition and control gives the guy confidence to deliver the ball on target. Mark in the backfield. Hand it off. He picked up good yardage on that play. This guy stays so low to the ground that the defenders have nothing to tackle. They try to grab something as he runs by, but a lot of time all they end up with is air. Once again, he can't wrap him up. What a collision. Running back picks up about seven yards. Pennington, get set. Moss, the man in motion. Pressure coming, throwing. The pass falls incomplete. No one there that time. Now it's third down after the incompletion. The former first overall pick out of Washington State. Won't be throwing any passes today. The break still hasn't healed, so he can't move his hand, and they're saying it'll be a while before he's back out there. Touchdown, New York. Now this is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points in the board. team heads out onto the field the kick is up the extra point attempt is good and so they were able to end that long drive with a touchdown the offensive unit was really in sync out there running this offense and running it very well well football is all about trusting your teammates to make good decisions out there in the heat of the battle when you can do that everybody starts firing on all cylinders and you can come up with drives like the one we just saw Brian is just about ready to kick this one away. They'll return this one. From the four. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 22. Henry. Setting up play action with the pass. Comes up with it. That pass didn't have much behind it. It wasn't pretty, but when you look at the statistics, it's not how pretty it was. It's how many first downs you pick up. Pressure throws over to his right. This one falls incomplete. Second down of coming after that incomplete pass. Only one man in the backfield. He gets the carry. Throwing. And it's complete. Back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Third and long. Ball on their own 31. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. Right in stride.
first and ten. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Give it to the hand. Gain of about one. New York comes out in their nickel package. Closing in with the throw. And he's pushed out of bounds. At the 45-yard line, he was able to hit his target, picking up the first in the process. And that's a case of your receiver knowing where the marker is and the quarterback delivering the pass quickly. Number 10 sets up under pressure, throws it incomplete that time, John. Throwing in these types of conditions could be very difficult. A lot of the time, you see the ball slip out of the quarterback's hand a little, and that could lead to incompletions or interceptions. So you got to take a little more time when you drop back to pass. The 40. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows them to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. Eight defenders in the box on this one. So it's a one touchdown game as the first quarter comes to a close with the score. New York, seven. Buffalo, zero. The teams have switched sides and will start the second quarter. Second and long. Gets rid of it. Picked off. Ball loose. It's the goal. You have to wrap the ball up to two hands in games like these. Yeah, you got to be extra careful. If the ball is wet and you have it hanging out there, the defenders are going to try and punch it out of there every time. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Passing on first down. Pressure coming with the pass. Interception. The offensive line couldn't do the job, and the pressure forced him to make a bad throw into coverage. That's exactly what happened out there. He felt the rush coming, and he was coming so fast that he threw it up for grabs, and he paid for it. I'm sure that he wished he had that one back as soon as he let it go. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. Drop back, drop. Set. Using motion. Hut. Stay up, Hut. It's the toss to the right. Lewis got very good penetration there. He got in there for his first tackle. That play wasn't going anywhere except backward. I tell you, sometimes the back needs to know when to just go down because he's trying to make something happen that's not going to happen, and they end up losing a bunch of yards. New York lines up in the 46. Bring that pain, baby. Number 10 gets set. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. Pass slipped out of his hand. The quarterback has to make sure that he has a good grip of the ball before he lets it go. When it's raining like this, it's not unusual to see a few more bad snaps, fumbles, incompletions, and stuff like that out there. The Jets come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs. Drops back. Steps up into the pocket with the throw. The pass ball's incomplete. He had trouble bringing that one in. He did a good job getting open, and the quarterback got him the ball. 
He just couldn't bring it in for the catch. He'll try to place this one inside their five. Here's the kick. And he signals for the fair catch. Pass the goal line. No return yet. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. They'll pass on first down. Pressure, throwing. Incomplete. That incomplete pass brings up second down. Right. Using motion. Crosses it right. Martin couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. Hey! We got nothing. Drops back. With the throw. And he's brought down at the 45. Great play there by Corbett. The thing is, he got some separation there, and he was able to get him a big chunk of yards. Mark the deep back. Closing in. It's rid of it. The defense has it. The defender was all over that one. That was a great pick. He was reading the quarterback like a book. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Abraham breaks the play up in the backfield. Henry couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole, but he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. Number 10 gets set. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. The 20. Right on the mark there to move the chains. And the thing is, the secondary looked a little on their heels on that one. They just couldn't converge on the ball in time, and now they get a whole new set of downs. The Jets come out with eight guys in the box. Dropping back to pass on first down. Rowan, he finds his man. And a pickup of about two. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. Another run. Gain of a couple on that count. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. New York looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Under pressure, gets the pass off. Touchdown, Buffalo. And below you can see how these two teams have done in the turnover battle. They'll get set for the extra point. And it's up. And the extra point is good. 
So they were able to use their great field position and drive the short distance to get into the end zone. I think when they took the field, they saw how close they were to the end zone. They took it upon themselves to make sure the drive got them a touchdown, not just a field goal. That's a great job by the offense to understand the situation and make the most of it. Number nine comes in to kick off. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. From the eight yard line. An interception brought the last drive to an abrupt end. They'll do a better job, I think, of protecting the ball this time around. First and 10. Ball on their own 25. Pressure coming. Throws it. Great pass. Excellent game on first down. These guys are just out there playing a little pitch and catch. Make it look easy. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Pressure with the pass. With the adjustment, he has it. He lost it. The Jets recover. The offense recovers its own fumble. That ball just took a lucky bounce right back to the offense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Set. First and ten. Pass play here on first down. Closing in. Slings it to the outside. And he's tackled at the 39. They'll head right back to the line. Throws it right in stride. Seven yards to go. Under pressure, throwing. He finds his man. The Jets call a timeout. They have two remaining. Just because we're under two minutes doesn't mean a team has to run a two-minute drill, especially right here. They're close enough where they can just call their regular plays like it's a normal drive. And as long as they do that, they should be able to get the lead going into the locker room. Passing on first down. Pressure coming right on time. Wyatt makes the stop at the 19-yard line. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. With the pass, the catch was made out of bounds. And the only call there that can really save you is a situation if the official determines that you would have come down in bounds, but a defender pushes you out while you're up in the air. And that clearly didn't happen there. On a third and short situation like this, the defense has to be ready for anything. Swain goes in motion. Cross play to the right. Mark barely gets enough. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. They're in great position to get some points before the half. They can take their time and mix it up with some runs and passes. The field is shorter, so they got to be smart with what they do. Crosses it left. Try to make the most of this red zone opportunity to add some points before we reach the half. It's first and goal. Ball on the six yard line. Man in motion. Let's go, come on. Drops back. Pressure firing the ball into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. And he's able to get open in the end zone. Great play. The defense just seemed to lose track of him down there. They have to do a better job keeping the play in front of him so that that kind of thing doesn't happen.
The kicking team heads out onto the field. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. Well, John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. will be kicking off. Decent kick, we should have a return. From the seven. He can't wrap him up. Look at that power. Stiff arm there. Well, he's shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. And now they have a fresh set of downs to work with as they try to get some points before the half. First and ten. Ball on their own 24. They'll pass on first down. Closing in. Rowing. Buffalo will call a timeout here. They have two left. They'll move the chains to that completion. Yeah, and that was a great recognition by the quarterback. Knowing where to go with the football against the blitz and knowing how to get it there. pressure he's looking with the throw the pass falls incomplete that looked like a catch until he got nailed yeah so good it knocked the ball right out of his hand there's only one way that they're going to be able to do something about this score keep throwing and getting out of bounds dropping back looking downfield gets rid of it and the catch is made. You saw the whole field was able to stand back there and find the open man. You know, when the defense is sending extra rushes at the quarterback, it takes a lot of poise to get the ball out of there with any accuracy. And here's where efficiency is a key. They're down right now, but if they score before the half, it'll really help them out. They just can't afford a turnover that gives the other team a chance to increase the lead. Rowan, the defense has it. He's bringing it down. Steam rolls the defender. That's now three interceptions for these guys. Here's a spot we're trying to add to the lead before the half can backfire. All it takes is one mistake, and it could be the defense that's scoring. That's why the quarterback has to throw it hard to the sidelines so that no one can jump the pass and pick it off. Card comes in motion. The pass on first down. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off on the move. Amazing play by Swain. And that's the type of thing that can happen when you get this guy the ball. He's going to move the ball, and he's going to move it with speed. He's calling everyone up to the line of scrimmage. He'll stop the clock with the spike. And so the kicker ready to come out onto the field and try to put one through the uprights before halftime. This will be a 38-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up. The kick sails through. It's good. Here's the kickoff team. Should be a return here. From the 12. The Bills will start to drive from the 30. I don't think they can do much more than just throw one long. So I'm sure the defensive coach is telling his guys, don't get beat deep. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 30. Henry, the long setback, to the air on first down. Gets the pass off, the pass ball's incomplete. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. New York, 17. Buffalo, 7. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. The 
kickoff team lines up. And this one's a short kickoff. From the 14-yard line. The Bills will start the drive from the 26-yard line. They line up in the I formation. Henry, great fake, throwing. This one falls incomplete, and he's unable to hang on to that one. That's the type of pass that you got to be able to hang on to. So it's second and ten. Get out of here! Lose it! Lose it! Henry takes the handoff, pumps. He surveys the field with the throw, incomplete. The back was the target, but he couldn't bring it in for the catch. The back was a good receiver out of the backfield, could really give you that extra dimension on offense. You have to find a way to try and catch it when your hands are on it. Number 10, get set. Drops back with the pass. Almost picked off. He's having a tough time getting anything going on this ground. You have to give credit to the defense out there. Those last few times he dropped back to throw, he didn't look comfortable. And that's because they did a good job confusing him with their schemes and their coverage. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Could be a dangerous one. His blocks are set up. He had a good return. Boy, the coverage team is going to need to do better because he could take the next one all the way. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. Mark. A yard, maybe two on the camera. The Bills expecting pass as they line up with seven defensive backs. Set. Using motion. Get up, uh -huh. You uh -huh. see. Either way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With the throw, almost got it. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. Yeah, he had an excellent opportunity to end the drive right there. He just couldn't bring it in. It's third down, and they have a long way to go. Ball on their own 43. Set. You got it. Throws it, and this pass is completed. Nice pass and good catch on that play. The pass was fired in there so hard, I think he left smoking the ball. Melissa, do you have an update for us? Thanks, Al. The Bills coach told his defensive players point blank, the game is up to you. He said that you can't afford to give up any more big plays and that if you get your hands on the ball, you have to come up with an interception. Thanks for that report, Melissa. They'll pass on first down. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. That pass looked like a dead duck. And some of those ducks are dead. But this one had enough life in it to get down there for the first down. He'll go from the I formation. Carter, the motion man. Throwing on first down. With the throw, he goes up and grabs him. Not quite far enough to pick up the first down. Yeah, and the guy calling the plays loves this kind of situation. Because on second and short, everything in the playbook is an option. Second and two coming up here. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. The quarterback lets it go and it found its mark. This is one of those guys who's always had a pretty good arm. He always seems to do a good job of reading the defense. Man in 
in motion. Drops back. Pressure to the end zone. Perfect pass. Touchdown, Jets. What a catch in the end zone. That's a guy you better keep an eye on down there in the red zone. He has a knack for finding ways to get open when there's a lot of traffic. Ryan comes in for the extra point. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. A good looking drive, and they score the touchdown. The offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. The thing that most impressed me about that last drive was their offensive line. They did a good job controlling the line of scrimmage, keeping their quarterback healthy and on his feet. A strong offensive line is the first and most important component to an effective offense. The kickoff team lines up. And it's a short kickoff. From the 15. The Bills need to rebound quickly as they start this drive at the 30. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 30. Henry is the deep back. Pickup of five on the counter handoff to the back. Out of the gun. Dropping back, throwing. There we go. The 40. Good job picking up the blitz and picking up a first down. Hey, that was a heck of a ball. When I mean, they saw the pressure was coming, and he knew right where to go with the ball. And then he got it there. Bust his grill, Keith. Well done. Fire up. Fire. They line up in the I formation. Closing in. Rosen. And he makes the grab. No problem picking up the first. Yeah, you know, we talk about putting a ball on a guy. The quarterback put that ball on the receiver perfectly. First and ten. Get at him. Set. Uh -huh. Snake eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Loss of about one. Under pressure, throwing short to his left, and he's brought down in the backfield by McGraw. He showed great concentration on that reception. The receiver has that ability to make even the toughest receptions look simple. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 45-yard line. Dropping back, throwing, and it's complete. Good play on that pass. If he can make catches like that regularly, he can expect to see more passes thrown in his direction. A long field goal attempt here. This one from about 52 yards away. Oh, it's a fake. And when you're down by this much, you're forced to go for it, but they came up short. They need to try to get something going, even if it means gambling on fourth down. Get in there, man! Yeah, set! To the air on first down. Throwing short to his left. And he makes the grab. Not much there. Set, 
Gain of two. It's third down, and they have a long way to go. Ball on their own 32. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Jets ahead of the Bills. 24-7. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Come out of the nickel. Pennington sends a man in motion. it off again. Martin was stuffed on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly. And they do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunity. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. Oh. 30. his way into the open field and picks up the first down. And what happened was they missed him with the blitz. And when they did that, there were no linebackers to converge. And that's how he got by the first down marker. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 46. Gets the toss to the right. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 48. And they run the ball again to look for some more yardage. They must have seen something in the defense that told them that they could run the ball there. The Jets come out in a nickel package. Gets the pass off. A little off target, but caught. The 30. That was a great run after the catch. Looks like the defense was caught out of position on that one. The secondary wasn't there to stop that guy after he made the reception. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Number 10 sets up. Nowhere to go that time. The defensive line gets very good penetration. This line is very aggressive up front. They like to stunt and use power moves to get into the backfield. A lot of teams think that the best way to move the ball on the ground against them is to run it right at them. Try and wear them out. Looks like they might be trying to do that same kind of thing. It off to the back. A couple, maybe three yards on that one. Let's go! Come on! The Jets come out on a nickel pack. Gets the pass off. Nearly intercepted. Didn't even see the defender, and it almost ended up as an interception. Yeah, maybe he was expecting man-to-man, -man and they dropped into a zone. He threw off his reads and where he thought the defense was going to be. Only one man back. With the throw. This pass is incomplete. Didn't get the first down they needed, John. In this type of situation, the team needs to try anything they can to get into the end zone. This time, they fell short. First and ten. Ball on their own 18. You got it. Let's go. Come on. Set. Huh? 
sends it off to the back. And the halfback picks up about three. Three-yard gain for the fullback. The backs are lined up in an eye. Pennington sets up. Gets the call. The 30. So, with a nice run. And picks up the first down. And it was well executed. They hit their blocks, and the back found the right hole to get down the field and pick up a first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 34. Set. Hut. Hut. Bring the pain. The ball. Cut off. Get all you Hut. got. Pull that kick off. Rumbles ahead for a yard, maybe two. Two minutes to the final gun. He hands it off. Mark didn't have much to work with on that running play. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep him off balance while trying to draw him offside. Pennington, get set. Crosses it out to the right. They give it to the halfback, so they'll lose yardage on that tackle by Winfield. Well, he's shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. I bet the defensive coordinator is telling his guys on the sidelines to get ready, because it'll be up to them to stop any comeback attempt and hold on for the win. Straczynski is back to punt. Shaw into return. Here's the kick. Fair catch called for. He did the right thing. Concentrated and caught the ball. The defense is trying to force a turnover, which would put an end to this game right now. here on first down gets the pass off John I don't know how they didn't pick that one off I bet you as soon as he let that go he was wishing that he could have it back because that could easily have been an interception so it's second and ten number ten starts out of the shotgun throwing almost intercepted I thought that was about to be picked off John I'll tell you he did almost everything right on that one he was able to read the quarterback's eyes he got himself in good position to make the interception. When it got to him, just bounced off his hand. If they get a first here, they'll need to start picking him up quick. The more downs you use to get the first, the longer it takes. And they need every second on the clock to try and make a comeback. He's out of rhythm on this drive. Can't seem to get it going. I tell you, they're giving a lot of different looks on this drive. And the quarterback's having a tough time adjusting on those last few passes. The Jets line up in the quarter defense. He surveys the field with the pass. Can't bring him down. And he's ridden out at the 41. This is just a great play to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. I mean, it's fourth down. You got one last shot to do it and they do it perfectly. Any run plays in the playbook should be thrown out because they need points fast, and the only way they're going to get them 
is by throwing the ball. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Off and running. Buffalo calls a timeout. They have one left. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. First and ten. Give it all you got. Bro, bro. Only one man in the backfield. Bill huh? huh? Pace on first down. Rowing. Ooh, nearly picked off. Missed opportunity. What the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. New York looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dive. With the pass, with the adjustment, he has it. That's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. Five wide receivers. As the offense gets closer to the goal line, the defense can tighten up and make it much tougher for the offense to get the ball into the end zone. Drops back, throwing. Then incomplete pass, and up third down. So they've dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. Ball on the 15-yard line. With the pass, this pass is incomplete. Good read by the quarterback, but the receiver couldn't gain control. Drops on third down that would have gotten you a first down could really demoralize a team. Your quarterback makes a good throw, but the guy on the other end can't come up with it. Throws it. Incomplete. Down by this much here in the fourth, they had no choice but to go for it. Well, they're at the point of the game where they have to try something. Heck, next time maybe you try something else, but you can understand why they want to go for it here. I think they'll probably just kneel down on this play. Set. Hut. 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 It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 13. Man, no, no. Set. Hut. 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 Bring the pay. Hut. Hit him low. That'll wrap this one up, and the final score is New York 24, Buffalo 7. This concludes another EA Sports presentation. For John Madden and Melissa Stark, this is Al Michaels saying so long.